cute little rest area. We're headed to MacArthur, Ohio for a wedding today, which means we're meandering around and giving a message, man. Over the last month, over 500 of you have joined our little family here and subscribed to our channel. And many more of you are watching that are not uh, subscribed. We do uh, invite you to do that because it helps us to stay connected to you a little bit better. But if you're new here, we've stopped at a place Maggie affectionately calls a blue sign. So anytime you hear us say we're gonna stop at a blue sign, that's what we mean. You know, rest areas have blue signs. Anytime she sees that, she gets really excited. It may be more of us talking about it like we do though. But we're glad you're with us. We do this for Maggie, but the truth is, every couple of hours when we're traveling, we always stop and stretch our legs because, you know, as you get a little older, taking care of your back and Keeping your muscles a little bit loose, it means more. It makes it a little more comfortable to drive. And a lot of times, if we're going six to eight hours in a day, we'll do two hour increments. Today, we're almost there, but usually we would switch drivers right now too. See, coming up behind us is a car getting ready to pass us. It's been several days since we've driven through the last rainstorm and right after that the blind spot detection that was installed by Winnebago stopped working. Just this morning it has magically started working again but up ahead well, it looks like a sheer wall of rain. We went through the rainstorm. This is what happened last time. It's definitely related to uh, shorting out because of water, for sure. We were just talking that this is the kind of road that uh, the directions took us off on that we may be worried about if we were in a uh, bigger RV or a truck with an RV or something because we may have to turn around, but looks like we've got Three more miles to go on this road, getting close to our destination. You worried over there? No. Not at all. Maggie, you worried? No. Leave me alone. I'm hunting for squirrels. Ocho's first dirt road. It's a well-maintained road. It is. We just figured out we're in Wayne National Forest. We cut through here. Not only Ocho's first dirt road, her first forest road with us. I know that sounds like a big deal, or we're making it seem like a big deal. It's not really, but you know, we don't have to give up roads like that to have the comforts of home. And she did really well on She it. did. All right, we're back on pavement. Yeah. That right. was awesome, that was fun. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I think we're leaning this way. A little bit maybe. We found our site and Took a while, yeah, we're way up on top of a mountain in Ohio. So we're seven inches off. So we're trying to get up on five of these things. Always worries me that we're just gonna turn this thing over. There's nothing. And everything. bit more okay we, we've shown you guys before how we use the Truma app and we were able to figure out exactly how we need to go how we need to put on and I'll put it down we'll see how level we are
Ah, hey, you're pretty good. That worked out great. Took us two times, but it worked good. It did. Yeah. Way to go, guys. Let's have a bit of a walk around here at this campsite. Let me warn you. Last night's campsite, probably an eight out of 10. Perfect. A beach, many lakes, lots of bike trails. Tonight's campsite, same Ohio State. Continue on front of Ridge Road for one and a half miles. Don't know why she's trying to tell me to go somewhere. I'm not driving anywhere. Same Ohio State park system, but this one's up in the mountains of Ohio. And if I turn around and show you this, there, now it focused. Looks like we're on the side of a mountain, right? And it looks cool. We're really unlevel, but we can deal with that. It's a pretty small site. We can deal with that. But we're right on the road. And that's, well, we'll deal with it, but not the happiest. Um, my fault because I booked it. I looked at the pictures. You know, those stupid pictures always make things look, well, better, don't they? Like a dating site. <laughs> I could never put a picture of me on a dating site, you know, and I guess that's what they think about here because they put the best pictures, but we'll, uh, I'll do a walk around. You make up your own mind. We're going to stay. There's a reason. Families in this area, one of our nephews is getting married, and we're going to go to the wedding and the reception and the dinner, and we're going to have fun tomorrow, but we have a surprise for tomorrow night. And it kind of goes with not being exactly happy with this campsite. But let me show you what I'm whining about. So like I said, if you look back this way, we have the awning out. You could be happy with this. Coming around on the other side. Well, let's see, we're right on the road. Not a very wide sight. And this is how we're enjoying this spot set up back here. Awning is out. Magdalene's just lying around. You guys know us. We'll make the most of it, which right now means I'm next to the road. I'm going to make hamburgers on that griddle that I showed you last night for our outdoor kitchen. And we're starving, so it's just about hamburger time. Pictures and dating sites. Lips, and dating lipstick sites. on a pig. <laughs> I guess all campsites can't be perfect like the one we left this morning. Kind of sad, but like Owen said, we'll make the best of it. We might not stay the three nights that we booked, but we will make the best of what time we do stay. Simple meal tonight, one of our go-to meals when we're out at a campsite, hamburgers on the griddle. But this time the little griddle top for the outdoor kitchen. Uh, haven't cooked on this yet, so it's going to be cooking and seasoning at the same time. I've got it seasoned about as well as I can do. First stop, onion. perfect but the meal tonight at our campsite thanks to the outdoor kitchen I'm liking that thing it's pretty easy I'm starting to figure it out dinner is served bon appetit you want that other hamburger Is it Maggie? Another piece of the hamburger. Okay. Just a 
little bit. Can you sit down? Can you give me five? All right. Give me five high. There you go. Okay. Which hand's it in? Wait a minute. That one. You're right. <laughs> You're right. So Maggie, can you lay down? Lay Maggie, down. lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. All the way down. Good girl. Good girl. This is nice. It's cool out. Nice little walk after dinner to walk our hamburgers off. <laughs> Make sure Maggie's happy. Well, sometimes something will happen, you'll break a window and you just have to make do with whatever you have. And looks like that family decided that they needed to be able to see out of the window and the mirror, but didn't have anything else. So they used the trash bag and I guess they're making it home without rain getting in. Kudos for you for thinking outside the box. And I'm betting that they're having to drive very far. They're mm -hmm. probably going to stop and get some clear plastic at Lowe's and change that up. Until they get there, they can see the mirror and they can see people, cars coming at you. You just see stuff all over the place whenever you go uh, camping, don't you? How's that for friggin' keeping it positive? <laughs> <laughs> did I do good, dear? You did. <laughs> I had to rein him back a little bit on that <laughs> you one. You did not. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. I had to press record four or five times to get that one where it was acceptable. Turns out I'm just a grumpy old man. Speaking of being a grumpy old man, many of you have commented about a post that I put out six years ago that I shared with our Facebook page today. By the way, did you know that there's a Van Trick and Lifestyle Facebook page? Many of you don't belong to Facebook, and that's cool. That's okay. Uh, but if you do... We love it if you come over there and join us there because it's a way for us to be able to spend more quality time with you and to keep you up to speed. But anyway, when this, van, this uh, RV passes, I'll tell you what I'm going to talk about. Six years ago, we had a little bit 15-foot retro uh, camper and a fifth wheel, so we took the retro up to Canada to see friends, dear friends, John and Sharon. And on the way, we had our granddaughter with us. Every stop needed to include a swimming pool. That was okay. Except when we got to Pennsylvania, I've been driving for like seven or eight hours. I wanted to sit by the pool, kind of relax, take a nap. Friggin' kids were playing Marco Polo. Marco Polo. I never Marco. went to see Polo. It was Marco. crazy. So I had a, I made a post, and a lot of people agreed, and especially after six years, more people agreed. The person who invented that game should be tied to the ladder on the shallow end and forced to listen to kids doing that all day long, every day, for the rest of their life. You guys agree? Marco! <laughs> Freaking Polo. <laughs> so as we sit in here and enjoy just perusing through comments and uh, Facebook, many of you have asked us how we handle being connected to the internet when we're gone so long. Well, for us, it's pretty simple. We've thought about Starlink, and we may get that eventually, and if you don't know what it is, just Google it. But what we have are two things. We have Verizon Unlimited on both of our iPhones, and we have a T-Mobile hotspot from the Kalex Institute. We used to think, okay, the T-Mobile thing, every now and then it gets connectivity. But on this trip, I can't tell you the number of times that we've gotten to a campsite, our phones with Verizon have had zero bars, unusable, and then just out of a whim, we try T-Mobile, and there she is with three bars, and we're streaming videos and working and answering comments. If you have to rely on being connected, have at least two carriers that you deal with. So Maggie's out on her morning walk. We are dodging raindrops a little bit, but the little girl's got to go. We're staying on the road because it's so muddy and wet everywhere else. Maggie doesn't care if she walks in the mud. <laughs> dum, dum, da, dum. It's pretty sad dum, that. Dum, da, dum. <laughs> dum,
till the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. Today wasn't our normal adventure that we take in our van, but it was a very, very special day that we got to celebrate my nephew getting married to what it looks like the love of his life because I've never seen a couple any happier and I've never seen my nephew any happier. I hope they have many, many years of happiness. And you know, another great thing about today was that we got to bring our home with us and we got to just park in the parking lot. Maggie got to sit out there and she got to come out every now and then. It was an informal wedding, but it was the most beautiful ceremony that I've been to in a very long time. I feel very, very honored to be part of it. And we probably won't show a lot of the wedding, but I just wanted to say that it's just a different adventure. And you know, that's what you gotta look. You got life's little adventures and make the most of every day. again doing something a little crazy we're in ohio but we're heading west back to iowa why <laughs> because we decided we're going to go get some warranty work done on the echo and we're better to get that done than at the factory join us next week and we'll share that experience with you till then we'll leave you with a little slice of heaven as the monarch butterflies come by our home thanks for being part of our journey we really do appreciate it. I hope we see you next week. Thank you.